Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through how to use the slicing tool in the part design, in the part workbench. And that's part of the uh, various shape splitting tools. You'll see it's listed here as slice. So we're going to be using that to slice um, the removed section from this doorway and to remove the section out of the plywood piece. And I'm doing it this way because it resembles the build process as opposed to maybe you could make a sketch and pad it, or you could even do this in the arch workbench, I think, too, although I haven't used that much. Um, but the build process is to install the plywood and then cut off, cut off the remaining. So I thought if I did this in the model, it'd give me a better uh, a sense of what's happening in the build process, like uh, as if I was building it. Um, one thing I don't know if I got correctly is I think this seam should probably be, be over a stud, but oh well. Uh, I'll change that later if, if it's that much of an issue. So well, to cut this out, I'm going to be cutting all the way down below the floor. Um, and I'm not going to leave plywood at the bottom. I don't know if that's right construction-wise, but that's what I'm doing. So to cut this shape out for the, for the knife, or the cutter, let's call it, I'm going to be using these three, um, these three faces right here. And basically those will be cutting, slicing out the shape. So I'm going to hide those for now, and I'm going to hide these uh, representations of the plywood. Now, I can't actually use plywood images on the object because that only works for rectangles. So if you go into the rectangle and you look, there's a place to put a texture image, but that option's not available for, for, for all objects. Although I think it'd be cool if it was. So let's start out with by making my, my cutting plane. So I'm going to minimize my shed here and maximize this demo. And I'm going to select this face and this face, and I'm going to create, and I'm going to go into the draft workbench and use the um, face binder tool to create two faces. So now I've created a face binder object, and you can kind of tell tell that by you can kind of when you select it. Let's see if I can get it to do that. Oh, you can kind of tell it's selected, but it's blending in because those faces are on the same plane as each other. So let's hide the framing for a second so you see them. So that's what I've created. So let's finish off by inverting this like this and I'm going to select one of these planes and that's just simply so I can get that as my um, my draft working plane to see the grid there is is on the draft working plane it's really small for this object but I don't care I'm not snapping to that so now I'm just going to create a rectangle using these endpoints so let's try that and rectangle has been working kind of funny for me let's so let, hopefully it works out and then I just go to that endpoint there and that should create a rectangle and I think it did you can see how it went gray and again, it's because they're coincident. It doesn't know which FreeCAD doesn't quite know which one to show, which is okay. So now when I close this, you'll see I've got my three faces here. Um, so now before I go any further, I want to downgrade FaceBinder because um, I've noticed these FaceBinder doesn't work, doesn't like to be scaled, uh, a FaceBinder object. So I downgraded it to two separate faces and I got my rectangle here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale each one of these individually so I've selected the object and I'm hitting scale and draft and I'm going to pick from where I want to scale uh, the point from where I want to scale it. So I'm going to scale from here in in one of these directions. So we're going to scale in Z. Now you've got to kind of highlight a zero and get rid of it. And then I want to modify the original because I don't want too many extra shapes floating around. Now you can, I think, do both of these at the same time. But to keep this more simple, I figured I'd do one at a time. And again, get rid of get rid of a zero and replace it with a two. Try that again, and modify the original and okay. So now I've scaled these lengthwise and they're long enough. So let's try scaling all three of these um, in the y direction because they have to be thicker this way uh, in in the y direction so they actually slice through the plywood. So let's try scaling in this direction and I'll say we'll scale from here and we're gonna scale in y and we'll just make this double. So yeah. So we got a nice scale of all three. We're gonna modify the original again. So we have just three basic, three shapes. And that's that's it. So now let's bring back, bring back our framing. Um, I guess speaking isn't my thing. And let's bring back the pieces of plywood that we're gonna cut. We'll bring those both back. So now to do the slice, we're gonna select the object we want sliced and now then select the slicer, uh, the, or the object we're gonna be slicing with. So you can select multiple objects to slice with. So now I'm going to move over to the part workbench and perform the slice. So what you'll notice is it just leaves a cut mark, but and but 
leaves the object together. So we have a sliced object, and I'll show you what to do with that in a second. Let's slice the other one first. So to slice the other one, I need to make this rectangle visible again, and we can use that in both slicing operations. That's not a problem. So I pick the object to be sliced, and then the objects to slice with, and I click slice. So now I've got everything sliced. So the next thing I want to do is I want to break these down into their constituent components. So we're going to use draft downgrade to do that as well. And you'll find, oops, not part downgrade. You'll find that draft downgrade is, is uh, your friend. It's a go-to. So now I have a compound. So it's a compound of those two objects. And we're going to do that for both of them. And we want to break it down even further. We want it to be um, two solids. So now we have the solid. So now we have the four pieces that we cut. And you can see they're selected individually. And we're just going to delete those. And that's it. That's now we have our sliced plywood for our door frame. And you can see we did the, I did the same sort of thing with the roof pieces. So you see I have those two plywoods. I had them up there. And let's see, I used these faces like that. So you can see, and I did the exact same process. And, but said, instead of this long top, I had that little one. And that, that resulted in, let's show you those, these solids here. So that's how you can that's how you can slice objects in FreeCAD and specifically to um, to framing. So thanks for watching my videos. If you like them, uh, make sure you subscribe, click like, and share because that gets word out and makes. And as, when I see subscribers, I really want to do more videos. Um, the next one I think is going to be a bike video on uh, using the draft array in distributing spokes around a rim. So I'll see you in that video and have a great.